Hey everybody watching, I thought I'd update you with what's, what's going on in my life a little bit for this week. Last night I stayed, I think I stayed up till about 3 o'clock watching Bates Motel and it was amazing. I watched maybe 7 episodes because I, I got like real into it and then the, the last episode of the, the first season I was like, <laughs> like when I found out the cop was was behind the the like taking the the Asian girls like as slaves and then what they were doing and and then it 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 really goes all the way into because I I knew one the his um. Norman's, I guess you could say, like, literal teacher, literary teacher. I knew she had feelings for Norman the way she was looking at him. And I I knew, I just knew that there was going to be, like, a sex scene involved. And then it's, it's like when Norman went to the party with Emma, and then he was, you know, he was looking at Bradley. He got punched by by her old boyfriend, which I think was still her boyfriend at the time, which was kind of sleazy. But I think Norman was stupid when, cause her old boyfriend was like, uh, "Let me talk with you outside real quick." Next thing you know, Mom like, Mom was like, cause he broke he. Broke his nose, blood was coming down, he got a cut right here. It's like, you're stupid. I just stole off him after that one. But, you know, his literary teacher picked him up. He's like, Norman, what, what are you doing out here? It's, it's raining, you're walking in the rain. And then she took him back to his place. She went to her room started undressing and she left the door open and there was a mirror right there so Norman could see everything was going on. Then in his mind, like it was it was circling around. It, it was like his his mother was like, She's seducing you, don't do it. And she was she was like, You you know what to do. And it, it's like he's got an evil mom in his head, but like when he goes to reality it's it's his his mom like normally. But next thing you know, at the end of the episode, it's, it's like, wait a minute. Because she's, the literary teacher's laying on the floor with her neck slit, blood everywhere. I'm like, Norman was the only one in the house. So he had to have done it. Unless she had somebody hiding in her closet. Because she was a nice teacher. She, I just knew she was too nice. You know, one of those teachers where you you open the door, like you, you don't see nothing. When you look through the glass of the classroom, you don't see nothing right there. But when you open the door and you look behind, oh, I know what you're doing now. You know, I know what you're about. So much did happen last night. I, I can't even explain all of it, but I, I just gave you a quick, you know, two minute explanation. Kate, my sister Kayla, she she's missed out on maybe 10 episodes I've seen so far. It's crazy. But yeah, I was just playing uh, some Modern Warfare 3 just a, a minute ago. Played on Terminal. You know, special ops. It was alright. It wasn't really what I expected. Today was it's kind of like a smooth day. It's it's running a bit slow, but you know later on I'll be able to get some laffy taffy. You know, some chocolate. Play some video games with my older sister. We could both, we all three get down on some video games if I bring these two controllers. What else happened this week? Oh, I didn't go to the, the senior um, 
was it the senior camp out? Cause it's senior ditch day yesterday. Cause I was, I was just like, screw that. I, you know, I was, I was like Anthony, like I got things to do when I get like, when I get home or when I wake up rather. Yesterday I thought about downloading the game engine. I didn't do that. I was like, hmm. Like, should I get my lazy butt up and try to turn this computer on, wait an hour for the internet to boot up, and then wait a whole day for the, the engine to download? Or should I turn on the PS3, get the controller, surf through Netflix, watch Base Motel? And I was like... Option two sounds a lot better because I can get that started up in a snap and I don't have to deal with no BS with this computer. That's another reason why I'm thinking about getting an Alienware. But I got to get a job first and then there's so many complications. I've been looking for a job for maybe for about a year and a half now. But I've been contacting like biz home businesses and all this stuff on hey you could you could be your own boss you could make hundred dollars in two days we got connections right here we got this system where you're selling environmental friendly stuff we got this system where you're selling healthy stuff you know instead of getting a red bull you got this energy drink right here that's all natural, you know, that stuff that, that you get overseas, you know, in Africa. They grind it up, make it into a juice, and then they send it, they send it to America, we package it, we sell it, and it goes for like hundred dollars a bottle. It's literally in like a wine glass, but it's a it's kind of like an energy booster. It's not an energy drink. It's an energy booster. Because energy drinks, I mean, they have like not negative connotations. It's like the side effects are terrible. You get a huge headache afterwards. You feel like, you know, you feel like, uh, like a, you're in Assassin's Creed running off the of walls and shit. But. You kind of feel like this, like you're looking around and you don't want to do anything. That's what energy drinks, bad energy drinks do to you. They, they make you like screwed up in the mind. It's, it's like being depressed. But, let's see. I don't feel like doing an improvisation today. I don't really feel like playing. I I was listening to Metallica for about a good hour, and it was awesome. I mean, Enter Sandman, like, and all these other songs they made. I want to go to a Metallica concert so bad though. I would get the the T-shirt. I would even probably get my guitar signed. What? But that's a whole nother story. That's probably after I get after I graduate and get a job. The first thing I'm gonna get when when I get that first paycheck, cash out with that those headphones. Give me some uh, cause they supposed to have some headphones that are better than Beats and. You can hear, you can really hear, it's, you can hear all the people like in the, all the people doing the music, you can even hear them breathing. And that's why I was like, what? I need those. It's like with beats, I hear more of the bass in the sound like, boo, 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 you know, and I was listening to that at, at Target the other day though. I was with uh, some friends and I had some, I had like these huge Beats headphones. It's like, 
And I was like, oh my god, dude. Man, I was gone. I did not like I could I could literally listen to that same song for maybe an hour before we left and then my mom called she was like hey I'm outside right now and then she she was pulling up to the the parking lot and there was some uh, Star Wars lightsaber fighting going on I, I recorded that hopefully I'll get that on YouTube it was it was uh, awesome we looked at some board games and we we saw one that's that like is a game where my friend Cynthia she was like this is something nerds play like when they're drunk it's it's a fun game when you're a nerd and you're drunk but that's it for today people hopefully I'll have some more cool stuff to share with you tomorrow See you then.